Hello guys and gals, it's Rob here. Um, we're taking a break from working on the van today and what we're going to look at is DIY Wi-Fi antennas. Ooh. First one we're going to be making is the old cantenna or antenna in a can as you can probably see. Um, we'll make this one up first and then after that we'll show you the pie dish antenna which is a uh, biquad style. Um, yes, we'll show you how to make those and then we're going to test them out and see how well they work. So the tools we're going to be using today are of course a drill, a soldering iron and some solder, uh, needle nose pliers, wire clippers and of course drill bits um, uh, for drilling through the tins. And I've also got this little bit of wood here um, which I've cut at 30mm length across that way um, and I'll show you what that's for when we do the pie dish antenna. So for our basic can tenner, the first thing we're going to need obviously is a can. Um, now I've already marked the point on here where we're going to drill the hole for the antenna to go through. Um, this can isn't um, the perfect length for its diameter. What I'll do is I'll put up a couple of links in the description below for calculators um, that show the diameter of the can, how long it should be, where you should put the hole in for the antenna. Uh, like I say, this can should actually be about probably this long. Um, but, you know, for testing purposes, we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll see what this does. Um, it's slightly bigger than a standard baked bean tin. Um, so, yeah, that's what we got. Um, next, of course, you're going to need some sort of uh, USB um, Wi-Fi receiver um, with a removable uh, aerial. This one's got the dipole one here. Um, as you can see inside, it's got the uh, SMA connection, which we're going to be using. Um, you're also going to need one of these little things here. This is an SMA um, mounting bracket, uh, which we're going to attach our antenna to on this end. And of course this end goes to the um, USB adapter. We're also going to need a tiny little bit of copper wire. Okay, that's going to make our actual antenna on the inside of the can. And you may want to use some coaxial, also known as pigtail cable. Um, both Again, both SMA uh, connections on there. And for this particular one, uh, I'm going to have to explain this better in a moment. SMA uh, adapter, and I'll explain why I need that. Um, and the last thing you're going to need is a cup of tea. So, going back to types of SMA connection, there's actually two different pairs. There's standard SMA, and there's RP or reversed SMA. Um, on the back of our adapter, what we've actually got is um, RP SMA. Um, and this, despite having the pin inside it, is the female connection. Um, so, yeah, this is an RP SMA female. Okay. Um, on the cable here, these are both RP SMAs. So, that will fit directly to this perfectly well. And if I undo that again just quickly and show you, inside there you can see it's actually got uh, the hole. And this one's got the pin. So, yeah. Reverse SMA. Okay. Um, however, on the mounting bracket end, we have the thread on the outside and the hole on the inside. This is standard SMA female. Okay. And now we've got the adapter, which as you can see has nuts on both ends here. One end, let's get my hand out of the light, one end has the, um, has the needle on the inside and the other, despite having the nut as well, has the hole on the inside. So this is um, RP SMA male. And this one is standard SMA male. Yep, it gets kind of confusing. Um, so, as you can see, if we get our SMA male and SMA female parts, put those together there you go, they fit perfectly well. And then our uh, SP, uh, sorry, RP SMA, and RP SMA there go together, and now we've got the full connection straight through to there. So now I've explained that, let's, um, let's start building, let's get this thing made. Okay, so we've got our can, we're ready to drill our hole in the point we marked. Um, the hole needs to be big enough so that um, the antenna doesn't ground out and contact the sides of the can so we need to make sure 
the, and, and remember as well you're going to solder um, a bit of copper wire to this for the antenna we've got to make sure it doesn't touch that hole so we need to make sure it's big enough, obviously not too big but this just falls through it because these are pretty tiny so let's get on with that Okay, so we started off with a really, really thin drill bit. Um, was it two mil? Yep, two mil. And then we went up to three point. Oh, sorry. Then we went up to three mil, and then finally we did a five mil hole. So the hole is now done. Now we just want to file off any burrs so we don't injure ourselves on it. So we're now ready to solder our antenna to our fixing point. Um, your antenna overall needs to be um, 31 millimeters long. Uh, that includes this bit on here um, that protrudes into the can. So once we've soldered this on, we're then going to cut it to size at 31 millimeters. So I'm going to pop that on there to keep that nice and level, and then we're going to try and set this up. So we can hold that in place. Okay, and there it is, our antenna is soldered on. So now we can cut this to the right length for 31 millimeters and it's ready to uh, go into the can. There it is, cut and ready. So, let's get it put into our can. There you go. And I'm not sure if you can see in there, but if you can, you can see that the hole is plenty big enough the antenna isn't touching the sides of the can, which is exactly what we want. So I'm just going to go ahead now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder this to our can. You don't have to attach it through solder, you can attach it with a bit of hot glue or just tape if you want. Um, it's entirely up to you as long as it's fixed properly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and just solder our antenna end onto our can. tidy job but it's worked um, I can show you in there you can see that the antenna isn't touching the sides of the tin so that's basically it it's ready to go now for our second antenna we're still going to need some of the same things as before so we're still going to need our USB Wi-Fi adapter we're still going to use some of our coaxial pigtail cable and we're still going to need the adapter part and of course the um, chassis mount or the um, or the connector there for the antenna. Um, for this one though, we're going to need a slightly longer piece of copper wire. This is, if you can see it, there we go, um, 30 centimeters or 12 inches. Um, but we're going to cut that down so you don't have to be wholly accurate as long as it's not really any shorter than that. And of course, we're going to need a pie dish and a cup of tea. So for a pie dish antenna. Um, which is going to be bi-quad 
Um, first thing you need to do is drill a hole in the centre. And here you can see uh, just about the right size there for our antenna to come through. Coming back to our little piece of wood we made earlier. Now, when we make this, and you probably remember from the intro, um, it's kind of a figure of eight. And this is what we're going to use to do it. So first of all, we're just going to go straight ahead here and put in a bend. Now we need it to be 15mm away from the bottom of the dish. We'll give ourselves about 20mm on there, we can trim some off later. And then we we'll just put a nice decent fold in there. So that will be the bit that prongs up from the bottom there. So now we need to turn this into our antenna, which is where this comes in. If we put that onto there, now you might remember earlier I said this is 30 mil, and our antenna needs to have 31 mil measurements um, for that and for this. So if, if you include the two ends where the curves are, it adds on a bit more, makes it 31 mil. So this is 30 mil. If we take this and get that straight on there, come on, stay there. That nice and neat onto there. So now once you've got it like that, you can take the piece of wood away. You've got your 30mm measurement, and then we'll just twist this around very gently and then put in the bend. Like that. So now we just keep going around, putting these in until we've got our figure of eight. Okay, so here's our bi-quad antenna. Um, what we need to do now is solder this end bit where we finished back onto the top of the beginning. Okay, we need to keep this top bit here separate from that because this is going to be ground to the plate of the uh, reflector or the pie dish. And then that should work fine. So I'm going to go ahead and get this soldered up. Okay, so we're about ready to solder the antenna to the mounting point, but once we've done that, we also need to solder the top part of this to the uh, reflector and ground the top part. Now on the other one we didn't want to ground it because it was just one little arm um, poking through, but with this we need to join it on this side and ground this side, so we have to be very careful how we solder it.
and there we go our antennas are made and all ready to rock and roll the only thing left to do now is test them out just before I test out these new antennas um, it wouldn't be right not to give a shout out to Andrew McNeil um, check out his channel I'll link it in the description below um, he knows a hell of a lot more than I do about uh, radio frequency especially with um, Wi-Fi and such uh, he's got loads of videos go check them out honestly um, if you're interested in doing it definitely give him a subscribe and so yeah with that let's get tested okay so to test our antennas uh, I've gone out in the car um, just opposite the uh, road from here is uh, McDonald's and we're going to see if we can pick up their Wi-Fi from over here we're about 100 yards away so we should be able to um, but really we want to see how strong that signal strength is and see if it makes a good connection okay so to make sure this is a fair test we've started off with the standard um, antenna that we've got with our uh, adapter and what we're going to do, I'm just going to hook it over the mirror up here there we go, hopefully that will stay there right, so now we're going to use this little bit of software here called Insider Home uh, well Home is the version, it's called Insider, you can download it, it's completely free so let's fire that up okay, and networks okay, so what have we got here We've got, we've got quite a few signals being found. Um, now what I'm looking for here is the number on the signal to be less than, well, more, less, more. Well, between minus 70 and minus 30. Now we've got minus 78, 88, 92, they, they're no good. You could probably connect on a couple of these 70 ones, but yeah, I don't know. This one's open. What's that? It's gone now. Okay, so this is ones it's finding on the standard antenna. So I'm just going to change it over quick and put on the cantenna, which is the one in the tin. This one, uh, and then we'll see what we pick up from that. All right, so we've got our cantenna attached now, as you can see, and we're getting a couple more uh, signals coming on, but again, they're not very good uh, signal strengths. So you can't really connect to any of these. It's just a bit disappointing. Let's see if we hold on to it and move it around a little bit. Yeah, there's definitely more signals, but. It's gone right down there, right down there, but none of these are very strong. Let's check behind me. And again, 77, 76, 72. That one's not bad. Is that going to change? Yeah, it's gone back down to 76. So, yeah, a lot more signals, but again, we're not... They're not very strong signals. So, last up is the Pi Dish uh, bi quad antenna. We'll give that one a go and see how that one fares. Our Pi Dish antenna with the bi quad uh, antenna built into it, all hooked up. Let's aim it out the front just like the others. And let's see what we're getting. And again, it looks like we're getting quite a lot of signals, but oh, we kind of just dropped loads there. Um, but again, not very good signal strength. Um, let's, let's aim it out the back like we did with the other one. Pop that on there. Okay, well, looks like I was parked facing the wrong way, really. So we've got loads more come back up. Signal strength, still not very good. So, um, there you go, there you have it. We'll just try connecting to one, so let's go down here. Let's see. 
Let's see what open ones we've got on here. We've got any that are open? Nothing that we can connect to. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, I couldn't seem to connect to anything from this position. Um, this is a big old car park though, so I'm gonna try moving further back down and see if I can get some uh, connection from some of the uh, the bars and that that are, that are across the car park. So, let's give it a go, see what happens. All right, we're a lot further into the car park now, so let's start again with the, um, uh, the antenna that comes with the adapter and see what we can pick up with that, and then we'll move on to the cantenna and then the dish. Okay, so we've got our standard antenna again, hooked up over the mirror, as you can see, and we've already got truckloads of uh, signals coming in. Absolutely loads. Um, but still, these are pretty, pretty weak signals. Um, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna try and connect to one. anything I'll connect to. No. Alright, so let's hook up the uh, the can turner. Okay, so the can's hooked up all the way through and I'm trying to connect to one of these. It's currently at 77 and it's Chiquito's restaurant which is just over the road about just about over 100 yards and I'm on there. It's very slow I'll have to say but uh, yeah there it is. Um, I'm going to try and turn the can facing to my right and see if we can pick up anything else because things are a little bit closer that way so let's get rid of that. Okay so we're getting hardly any signals over that way probably because there's a great big 4 by 4 park next to me um, blocking all the signal but it just goes to show how directional these uh, can tenors are really. So I'm going to give it a dish a go and see what we can pick up with that. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you this one. C to C free Wi-Fi. Uh, that's the C to C railway. That's over a mile away from where I am at the moment. <laughs> so, uh, and this is with a dish on. So, unfortunately, it's too uh, too weak a signal to connect to. Um, but yeah, it just goes to show really. And as you can see again here by the, the sidebar, there's so many Wi-Fi signals. Um, but we just can't get um, connected to any, which is a shame. Okay, so we're about uh, 20 to 30 yards from McDonald's now. I've literally parked right outside. Um, as you can see, McDonald's Wi-Fi has come up. We're still only getting sort of around about 68 to 70 um, connectivity. So uh, again, this is on the oh, it's gone. This is on the uh, the standard uh, antenna that comes with the adapter. So I'm going to see if I'm going to connect Maccas Alright, we've got the can on and I've been watching it for a minute or so um, the one we're connected on sort of jumps around between 66 and 70 um, so we should be able to get on with that. So I'm going to try it again. Let's refresh that. Let's see if it'll finally work this time. Oh, there we go. Mobile number. Why do we need this? Oh, I see me going to text me or something and then... Okay, well I'm not going to tell you my mobile number, so we'll see if I can get on here and then I'll come back. Okay, so we've got the dish back on now. Um, yeah, they wanted to text me and give me a code and all this jazz, and I was like, nah, I can't bother. So, um, yeah, you can still see it, you can still connect to it, it's still on here. It's around about the same, sort of hovers between 66 and 70. There um, seems to be a lot more on here though, so the dish definitely picks up more signals, but again... With both of them, it just doesn't seem like you get a, 
a better signal, a better connection, you just get more. So, um, a bit disappointing really, but we'll see what other types of antenna there, there are that I can make up and uh, in another episode maybe we'll look and see if they're any better. So there you have it guys and girls, we made our own Wi-Fi antennas and tested them out. A little bit disappointing on the, um, the effectiveness of them, but they still worked. Um, so maybe we'll review those in the future, try some different styles uh, of can antennas. Try and uh, find a can that's actually the right size. That might have helped a little bit. Until then, I suppose it's back to the van. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, check all the uh, uh, other videos and the links below uh, for extra information. And yeah, if you if you want to see more of this, it's what I'm hoping to be doing with the channel uh, when the van's done at least. Um, doing a lot more little projects like that. So yeah, if you liked it and you enjoyed it, give it a subscribe, give it a like, give us give us some comments. Uh, maybe you've tried making some of these. Let us know how you got on. Um, yeah, until then. All right, take it easy and uh, see ya.